Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Discover what's in store for your Port Charles favorites. Spoilers for General Hospital's week of February 12, February 16 tease characters enjoying anniversaries, getting into trouble and more. This is one week you will not want to miss. It is a well-known fact that when Dex first started working as Sonny's go-to person, he truly worked for Michael. He was paid under the table in exchange for obtaining damaging information about the mob boss. He and Sonny have had many ups and downs over the years, but his boss has recently grown to rely heavily on Dex. However, in order to safeguard Sonny, Dex and Michael are once again working together. Michael even transferred money directly to Dex's account. If Brick is worth the money Sonny pays him, he will uncover dodgy proof. Suddenly, this prospective possibility may no longer be so potential. Sonny is suspicious, and this will lead Dex into a dangerous position. It may also infuriate Sonny. And as anyone who watches GH knows, a furious Sonny is a deadly one. With Nina's life in shambles, Austin Gatlin Holt dead, Nicholas in jail, and Trina dealing with her loss, Ava is lonely. Sure, she lives with Sonny, but he seems distracted these days. So Ava decides to look for a companion. Does Nina make time for her, or does Ava turn to someone else? Consider Ava to be this week's truth teller, life coach, and therapist, all in one gorgeously adorned bundle. First, she gives advice to her roommate. What does Sonny need her help with? After all, Eva specializes in heated messes. She's dealt with plenty in her past, so why not shine some light on Sonny? Second, she seeks to impart insightful words to Joss. Their bond has thawed. Will Joss take Eva's advice? While Sam is frequently called upon to employ her extensive private investigation skills, her major focus is on her children. When she and Dant learn that Danny is in trouble, they must go into protective mode. It's Valentine's Day, therefore it's time to commemorate Curtis and Portia's first anniversary. Remember the wedding? With their wedding ending in such a spectacular fashion, the past year has been extremely stressful. Curtis was enraged when Portia, Brooke Care, kept Trina's paternity a secret. And don't forget about the unknown gunman who shot and paralyzed Curtis. Yes, Portia and Curtis should party hard and acknowledge that the fact that they are still together is a huge accomplishment. Finally, Anna is the new commissioner of the Port Charles Police Department, and she's been busy fighting the good fight alongside Jordan, who is trying to figure out who shot Curtis. All that business and badassness takes a momentary pause to deal with Valentine. What happens if they cross paths again? How will Trina work through her heartbreak? On the Monday, February 12 episode of General Hospital, spoilers discuss sadness, mistrust, and key decisions. Don't miss this episode. Trina never expected to lose Spencer, and now she is left to mourn the man she loved and the life they could have shared. Expect Trina to battle with her grief. She has already determined that she will never return to Paris, and pursuing her aspirations in college appears futile, what will it take for Trina to get past this pain? Whom will she turn to? Laura and Kevin are both suffering with their own grief. However, they now have additional considerations. With Spencer and Esm gone and Nicholas in jail, they're the ones caring for Ace. Suddenly, they must make a critical decision. Does this have anything to do with Laura's grandson? Gregory recently made his own significant decision— he questioned Finn about moving in together so he could have someone there to aid him if he needed it. He can also be there for Violet and Finn if they need him. Why is he confiding in Tracy again? Is there anything else that is wrong? Roo Ro. Apparently, Carly and Drew discover Nina's plans to launch a rival magazine. Is a bitter, spiteful Drew going to let that happen? How will Carly and Drew fight Nina's attempts to reclaim her crimson staff? Furthermore, how angry will Drew be with Nina now that she has dared to start her own business? Will he be able to control his temper? 
Who knows whether Sonny will be able to control his rage if he discovers Dex has been working on the down low with Michael for months and months. When Brick and Sonny talked, Sonny's number two noticed something suspicious about Dex. And now Sonny is also suspicious. What exactly does this mean for Dex? Check out the top images from the soaps for the week of February 5, 2024. The bold and the beautiful Days of Our Lives General Hospital and the Young and the Restless have all had surprising episodes this week, February 5, 2024. Prepare to revisit some of the best moments from your favorite soap operas with this week-long photo collection. Find out which program had the most touching pair. The worst brother, the most obvious disguise, the best job announcement, and a lot more. Do you believe we absolutely missed something about your favorite soap? Please let us know in the comments section below. But first, make sure we didn't by checking out this week's photo gallery of the greatest, worst, and most startling events. Laura Collins faces difficult options, Trainer Robinson is grieving, and Brick has significant doubts. Carly Spencer is in a frenzy at the Metro Court, telling Diane Miller that she has to speak with her and that there is an emergency. Robert Scorpio is behind Carly, looking concerned, as if he is wondering if it is related to Sonny considering recent occurrences. It's most likely related to Nina Ree's efforts to launch a competing magazine and reclaim all of her crimson personnel and clients. Diane is cool, and she will most likely try to settle Carly down. She is not typically so rattled. It generally takes a lot to rattle Carly, and she isn't panicking for nothing. Meanwhile, back at the Collins residence, Laura talks with Kevin Collins, who is holding Ace Prince Cassadine. They need to make some significant decisions, and Laura informs Kevin that it is not solely her responsibility. They currently have custody of Ace as his closest living relatives, with Nicholas Cassadine and Heather Weber in prison. Esm Prince and Spencer Cassadine are reported dead. Perhaps Laura is discussing obtaining something in writing for Ace's custody. A empathetic and heartbroken Ava Jerome, Maura West, listens to a saddened trainer, who is dealing with her loss of a Spencer. Trainer is sobbing as she tells Ava she can't live with this sensation, describing her heartbreaking anguish. Trainer probably feels like a part of her has died because her and Spencer's soulmate connection was so strong. It will be tough for Trina to accept Spencer's death, but equally difficult for her to refuse to accept it. Trina will be unable to function for an extended period of time. Michael Corinthos is speaking with Jocelyn Jacks about Sonny's condition. Michael informs her that someone Sonny trusts has sold him out, but it is not Michael this time, despite the fact that this has been his intention for quite some time. Michael has assigned Jocelyn's lover, Dex Heller, with discovering who sold Sonny out, but they have no idea Dex is in the hot seat. Sonny already suspects him, despite his claim to trust him, but someone is pushing Dex as a suspect. Meanwhile, at Sonny's office at Potsulo's, Brick continues to push the notion that Dex is the mole, having told him about an offshore account he discovered. That is Michael's account through which he has been paying Dex, thus Dex will also have an offshore account. Rick became worried when he noticed Dex's platinum credit card at the Savoy and conducted some investigations. He asks Sonny, what better way to avoid taking his bullet than to set him up to take one? Drew Kane and Carly have now discovered Nina's plot to outperform Crimson with fierce competition of her own. He gives Nina a strong warning, informing her that if she continues to play with fire, she will find out what happens. That was after he assured Carly that he had let go of his vendetta against Nina. Nina is doing nothing wrong by attempting to launch a very competitive magazine. However, Drew does not appear to be as willing to abandon his grudge as he claimed to Carly earlier, and neither does Carly. Drew and Carly are willing to fight fire with fire. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.